Hey guys, Fitness or Finesse, checking in on the fitness front. Um, so coming through the holidays, it's been a little bit of a struggle. Uh, we'll try not to drag this video out a whole lot, but my goal was, well, one of my interim goals was to get down to 200 uh, by January 1st. And today is Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve. And last time I weighed in, uh, which was last Friday, I was exactly 200. So I exceeded my goal by just a little bit and I'm um, still feeling great. Saturday night, uh, sat up on a chat with the boys and consumed 900 calories of Captain Morgan's rum. <laughs> Let that sink in. Um, felt like shit the next morning. I haven't been drinking. I, I haven't been drinking at all because not that I believe you should quit drinking. I think if you can find the room for the calories, have a drink or two. I mean, like like I said, calories in, calories out, five to 600 deficit per day and you'll lose weight. There's just no way the math equation lies. The key is finding out your, your resting uh, sort of rate of calories per day to, to be neutral and then bust that down by 500. My Fitness Pal app has been the key for me. I've logged in now for I think almost 40 days straight. I only had a couple uh, misses in the login uh, when I was uh, probably at nationals or something like that. I don't know. But at any rate, uh, still, still going to keep working out. Uh, January 11th will be four months that I've had. Uh, you know the personal trainer I I started at 237 uh, my heaviest was like 247 in case you're wondering so uh, 37 pounds down um, you know within four months I think a realistic goal is a pound a week now, a lot of people will say oh it's not enough there's not enough results I, I won't stay motivated but if you think of it in long term a pound a week man uh, that's 52 pounds a year so I uh, did cardio this morning, ate another 800 calorie burn on the elliptical. The elliptical machine is the calorie burning machine, not the treadmill, unless you're running on the treadmill, which if you're like me, your knees are not good. <laughs> um, and the bike, don't ride the bike. You're better off going at a medium to low pace on the elliptical because you're dealing with balancing. You can use your hands. Uh, if your legs get tired, you're up and you're moving and you're stabilizing your body the whole time. If you go watch some of the fitness experts, they will tell you the elliptical machine. Now, it does get boring. The other day, what I did uh, Sunday, I filled my backpack full of brass, like 40 pounds of brass cases, and I went on an hour and a half long uh, ruck march through this uh, park. And, um, and I actually I took the red dots out there off the gun and it was doing some sort of some, you know, some testing of the red dots uh, visually and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, so you have to get creative. Now, motivation wise, you know, it, through the holidays has, like I said earlier, it has been a little bit tough. You know, there's been so much garbage. Uh, my kids, they get, they get lots of candy, lots of crap that's in the house. Before the holidays, I had the house almost cleaned out with all the crappy food. Um, what, you know, my only snack that I allow myself is some popped popcorn or some pretzels just to have a crunchy, salty snack. But I've cut out all sugar, no sweets, no cookies, no candy, no sweets, no sugar. I cut out, uh, I was getting 80 calories in the morning in my coffee, so I was limiting myself to one coffee. I've taken out the creamer, I've put in just stevia and cocoa powder, and now I'm able to pound down two huge coffees, which uh, it's delicious. It took me a while to get used to no creamer, but that's 80 calories. You know, over the course of a week, that's another five to 600 calories, you know. So looking for little things. Still eating lots of spinach, egg whites, turkey bacon in the morning. Scheduling my breakfast for 9.30. Scheduling my my uh, pre-lunch protein shake, whatever, at 11. Push me to my actual lunch at 1. Uh, trying to stay on, uh, you know, chicken and vegetables. I've been cutting up a lot of chicken with fresh salsa. 
really good fresh salsa from the store, from the deli. Has almost no calories, has tons of flavor, and just chopped up with chicken and hot sauce. So you almost get no carbs, and the ones that are in there are complex carbohydrates. My dinners are still, you know, a lot. Try not to do too much red meat. I know red meat is really good for us men, um, but I've been eating a lot of, just a lot of chicken, a lot of pork. I've been doing a lot of pork and chicken and, um, you know, peppers and onions. If I get hungry at night, I uh, will pound down another, you know, protein shake or just a small one and go straight to bed. I've been trying to get to bed. If I go to bed, if I go lay down at 7.30, I know that's early, guys. A lot of people that watch are night owls. I know a lot of my friends are night owls. All the garbage happens at nighttime, at least for me. My willpower in the morning, the beautiful brand new day that you wake up to, it's just an amazing feeling. But at night, I get in bed at 7.30. I try to watch some YouTube videos till 8.30. I usually watch some motivational, some real fit people doing some real cool shit to charge me up for the next day. And that's how I end my day. Sometimes I go to bed a little bit hungry. If, if, uh, if I'm feeling that way, I'll eat a uh, hard-boiled egg or something like that. But the key, one of the keys I've learned is as a society, we've been taught, we've been asked, God, my mom, you growing up, you know, feeding us. I don't know if that comes from her, you know, living through the depression or what. Are you full? Are you full? Are you full? Did you get enough to eat? Are you full? No, I mean, fuck. I mean, why do you have to eat till you're full? Through this whole process, I've realized you eat till you're not hungry anymore. Don't eat till you're full. And I'm not preaching to you. I'm preaching to myself. I, I just eat until I'm not hungry. That could be a few pieces of broccoli, some blueberries, cottage cheese, yogurt. So, you know, 150 calories. You know, stay busy. Stay doing something. Be active reloading ammunition, you know, out there walking around, listening to music, out, you know, dry fire practice, stay busy. Next thing you know, you bust through the day and you got a thousand calorie deficit just by not ever being full. So eat till you're not hungry anymore and eat the right things. And uh, man, I, I tell you, I just, um, so the next stop for me is 190 pounds. Uh, and then I think one more month with the personal trainer and then I'm gonna have to just come up with a program on my own I can't afford to just keep her hired forever it's not cheap it's worth every penny but it's not cheap so anyway guys just checking in on the fitness front for all you guys that are interested hopefully everybody is gonna have an awesome year I know the gyms are gonna be packed go early in the morning that's the key there ain't shit in there early in the morning I wake up at 320 I was at the gym at a little after four. I ain't a damn person in there. I got the whole freaking place to myself. 